Did you know that uh, digital camera manufacturers are screwing you all regarding the video quality of their products, uh, namely the quality of the 1080p video? The 1080p video recorded with DSLRs or mirrorless cameras or digital cameras, compact cameras like this Canon uh, G7X Mark III. The 1080p video has a major flaw in its quality uh, compared to 4K video. Uh, why is that? I will explain later, but first let me show you the examples of such a video. So, okay, I'm on Canon G7X, I'm recording in 1080p, 30 frames per second, and uh, now you shall look at the magnified portion of the video at my mouse dish, and you will see huge pixelation uh, on these fine details. This huge pixelation in 1080p video is unfortunately produced by line skipping technique and I will explain later what it does mean for a video at this resolution. And now we shall see the 4K video which does not suffer from line skipping. Now I am recording the same video but in 4K and as you can see in the magnified portion uh, of the video uh, there is fine detail. In 4K video there is fine detail, there is no pixelation uh, as was in 1080p video. And what is the reason for that? Let me explain. So we need to realize that uh, uh, modern digital cameras, uh, whether they be the uh, DSLRs, mirrorless or compact cameras, have large resolution sensors. Uh, this particular camera, the Canon G7X Mark III, has a 20 megapixel uh, image sensor. And this is a problem for recording video, because 1080p video has only two megapixels. That's uh, ten times uh, less uh, than the camera sensor itself. So in order for uh, the camera sensor to capture full width of the sensor, that is to retain the focal length of the lens, which is in this case 24 millimeter equivalent, it has to either downscale from the full size of the sensor to 2 megapixels and apparently this requires too much computing power from the camera CPU to achieve uh, or the camera may uh, not downscale the video and only use the portion of the sensor but in case of a 1080p 2 megapixel video this would Actually, the, this little sliver of the sensor, which would uh, dramatically reduce uh, the <laughs> the angle of view to just a couple of degrees, this would make 24 millimeter equivalent be actually around 200 millimeter equivalent. This would be a telephoto, not a wide angle lens. Then, so the the only alternative in this regard is to use a technique known as line skipping. That is only one out of four or one out of fifth rows and columns of pixels are actually uh, recorded, are actually used to produce the image and uh, this uh, makes it possible to capture the, the full width of the sensor but uh, with only uh, enough uh, pixels to produce a 2 megapixel 1080p video. This is line skipping because whole rows and columns of pixels are skipped 
And this is the technique used to produce 1080p images in most of the digital cameras today. And I don't know how smartphones are doing video recording. They may use a lot of or a combination of techniques, but I can't really know for sure. But in the case of digital cameras, uh, it is uh, proved <laughs> that the cameras use line skipping in this regard. But if you look at the 4K video, the 4K video out of this camera it has all the details. This is because, surprisingly, when shooting in 4K, the camera captures full area of the 20 mil, uh, megapixel sensor and downscales to 4K, which is 8 megapixels. So all pixels are read and recorded and then downscaled. So one may ask, why not use uh, the same scheme with 1080p video, that is, to record or capture 20 megapixel full sensor readout and then downscale it to 2 megapixels to produce 1080p video? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a, it is a too complicated an operation for, for a camera, but if it can oversample and downscale from 20 megapixels to 8 megapixels, which is, after all, it is quite computationally uh, heavy process to do, then why not uh, downscale to 2 megapixels, which should require less uh, computational power? I don't know. Perhaps, this is a Canon camera, so perhaps Canon Cripple Hammer is responsible for this. But I know for a fact that Sony cameras, mirrorless Sony cameras, also line skip in 1080p, despite producing oversampled 4K video. Uh, I mean, like uh, the full frame A7 Mark III camera, very popular among filmmakers. So if you choose a Sony camera to record 1080p video, uh, you will be disappointed, uh, just like I am disappointed with this camera, with this Canon camera. So, are there any alternatives? Well, there are <laughs> cinema cameras which have uh, not a 20 megapixel uh, image sensor, but an 8 megapixel image sensor, and they oversample 8 megapixel image frame to a 2 megapixel 1080p video and it looks great. There are uh, 2 megapixel old uh, 2 megapixel uh, cinema cameras like uh, the Bla original Blackmagic uh, camera. It has only a 2 megapixel camera so it records full sensor readout pixel to pixel uh, 1080p video with no processing no downscaling uh, and no line skipping, of course. So uh, we are screwed. We are being screwed by uh, digital camera manufacturers. Uh, they don't care about 1080p video. Well, I also wouldn't care if 4K video processing would be faster. Uh, also, in 1080p I can use uh, 60 frames per second uh, recording, but not in 4K because it's too much for this little camera. Uh, well, uh, several years ago I had a different uh, compact digital camera, uh, Panasonic Lumix LX10, and uh, it was a great camera, uh, and it, it could record 1080p video with no line skipping, uh, at least there were no pixelation was vis visible uh, in the image. Uh, but uh, Lumix LX10 uh, did not record uh, from the full sensor width. It cropped 25% into the sensor, so it actually had less megapixels to work with. So perhaps this is why it could oversample uh, a video from a 75% of the sensor and then downsample it to 1080p. But uh, the downside was uh, 
a a crop so the focal length was not 24 millimeter at the wide end but it started at 30 millimeter so it was no longer a vlog capable camera anyway that's the end of my rant so yeah this is this is how free market fails <laughs> when camera manufacturers cannot cannot deliver crisp 1080p video and then you are forced to use smartphones apparently <laughs>